So Kling AI just dropped their new version 1.6 and this might be the best AI video generation model out there. And in this video, we're gonna compare this with its previous version 1.5 and we're gonna see how good this new version actually is. So I'm very excited, let's dive in. So right now we are on the Kling AI's website and if you are new to the AI video generation, let me show how you guys can find their new version. But first of all, on their website, if I scroll down, you can see these are some of the videos that are being generated by the community with version 1.6. And all of them are looking very, very impressive. So you can also get some inspiration from here. Now to access this model, you have to click on the AI video and you can see we have two options here, text to video and image to video. And to access the new model, you have to click on this model section and now you can see we have the Kling 1.6. So for those who don't know much about the Kling AI, let me explain all of these settings to you. So in the prompt section, we have to define what we want in our video. So let's say a woman crying. Well, this is a very simple prompt. Now in the settings option, you can see we have the creativity slider. So if you move this slider towards the creativity, the AI will be more creative. But if you move this slider towards this relevancy, this will follow the prompt more accurately. So it's better to keep it around 0.5, which is the default one. And next we have the modes. We have the standard mode and professional mode. So it's preferred to use the professional mode because it generates the more high quality videos. Then we have the duration. You can select the five seconds or 10 seconds. Then we have the aspect ratio. You can adjust the number of generations. And next we have the camera movements, but unfortunately this feature is not available with the version 1.6, but soon this will be available. Next we have the negative prompt, the things that you don't want in your video and hit generate. All right, so here is the output and this new model moves more towards the realism. And you can see the expression in this one looks very, very natural. Well, it looks more like a stock image, not very cinematic, but we didn't mention that thing in our prompt. So it followed the prompt very accurately. The woman is actually crying. She has the wrinkles. Each and everything looks very, very good. But this was a very simple prompt. Let's move on towards the complicated prompt. So this time I'm gonna try a cinematic shot of a woman with expressive face leaving the room. And the rest of the settings will be same and hit generate. Alright, so this is the output video and the first thing that you will notice in this video is the skin texture. Just look at the details. Each and every single pore and the wrinkle is visible. And if you talk about the prompt relevancy, it follows the prompt accurately. You can see the woman is expressive. She's looking kind of upset and then she is leaving the room and it followed the prompt very accurately. So the version 1.6 follows the prompt very accurately. So we're going to compare this with its previous version 1.5. And this time I'm gonna try this prompt. A scene starts with a phone close up and then woman pick up the landline phone with camera pan. A woman shocks while talking on a phone. All right, so this is the output from the version 1.6 and you can see it followed the prompt very accurately. A scene starts with a close up of a phone and then the woman picks it up and you can see some kind of a shocked expression on her face. And the one thing that you will notice in the version 1.6 that the skin textures are very very improved and if you compare this with its previous version 1.5 here is the side by side comparison the version 1.5 also followed the prompt very accurately even though you can see more expressions on the woman face in version 1.5 but in terms of the skin textures and the color tones i think the version 1.6 performed better but i don't have any complaints with both of them both of them are performed really well now let's try our famous sora prompt a woman wearing red dress with black leather jacket and black shades holding a black handbag walking on a Tokyo street at night. So you can see we have a lot of details in this one and let's see how does it perform with this one. All right, so this is the output from the version 1.6 and it nailed it. Just look at the way how she swings her hand, the way she's walking, each and everything looks very very realistic and also it captured the every single detail the woman is wearing the black leather jacket black sun shares red dress she has a black shoulder bag so in terms of the prompt relevancy it captured the every single detail and if we compare this version 1.5 here is the output from the version 1.5 well it also followed the prompt very accurately but you can see there is some kind of demorphing around the hands and this is kind of a different shot. You can see we have a slow motion in this one. Uh, the full person is not visible. There is some kind of camera pan motion in this one. But if we talk about the version 1.6, I think version 1.6 is more realistic and we have more details and more dynamics, which makes it look close to the real footage. Now let's try a more dynamic shot like a SWAT team on an operation entering the building with 
explosions and fire. All right, so this is the output from version 1.6 and I don't have any complaints from this video. You can see we have a lot of things going on in this one. We have multiple objects, but still we don't have any deformation. We don't have any morphing effect in this one. And this shot looks very close to the real footage. And if we compare this with the version 1.5, the version 1.5 is not quite there. You can see we have some deformation and this is some kind of a weird shot. But in case of the version 1.6, the footage looks very, very good. And the thing that impressed me a lot is that we have multiple subjects in this one. And in case of the other AI video generation models, the AI gets confused with the multiple subjects. But in this case, it nailed it. Next, we have this prompt, an elf woman wearing a glasses, reading a magical book, and the words are floating in the air. And this is the side by side comparison between both of these models. And both of them are looking very similar. Uh, in version 1.5, you can see the woman has the elf ears, but in version 1.6, the woman has the normal human ears. But the thing that you will notice in version 1.6 is that this one looks more natural and more real. Uh, the skin texture, although, looks better than the version 1.5. Now, moving towards the image to video section. So we're gonna start with this image and in the prompt section I'm gonna type a detective walking on a street in black coat, rain soaked and then look back. And here is the side by side comparison between both of these models 1.5 and 1.6 and you can see in version 1.6 the detective walking on a street and then he suddenly looks back as we mentioned in our video but in version 1.5 you can see the detective is not walking and he suddenly turns around but in version 1.6 the good thing is that it captured the raindrops each and everything perfectly and more importantly it followed the prompt more accurately obviously in both of them the characters are different because the character was not visible in the initial image so the ai is just guessing what this character would look like although both of them performed very well but 1.6 is slightly better in this case next i use this image of a mafia don sitting on a black leather sofa and i generated these videos without entering any prompt just to see how the ai performs with this image and in version 1.6 it knows that what is going on in the image and the person is smoking a cigar in this particular example but in 1.5 the cigar turns into you know a kind of sandwich or burger and then the horn is eating that uh, so this is a weird example but in case of 1.6 the ai knows what actually going on in the image and what motion it needs to apply to this particular image next i use this image where a spaghetti couple dancing and uh, you can see 1.6 handled it very well but in case of the 1.5 it just added a panning effect in this one but in case of 1.6 it performed very well uh, even though this was a complicated i wasn't expecting that the 1.6 can handle that but still it added that motion and it looks very very creative and next i tried this image without entering any prompt so in this one you can see the 1.6 keeps the character very consistent and although you can see the smoke on the background looks very natural we have very subtle movements in this one and if we talk about the version 1.5 you can see uh, the smoke suddenly comes from the background and you can see there's uh, one more character one more eye is appearing from the background so it suddenly added a one more character in this one but in case of 1.6 it kept the character consistent. Next, I'm gonna try this image of a female elf warrior. And in the prompt section, I'm gonna type an elf warrior swing her sword in anger and the camera zooms into her face. All right, so this is the output and you can see the woman swings the swords in anger. Yes, the sword movement is uh, kind of a little bit weird, but uh, I think this is very fast movement. So that's why we can accept that and at the end of the scene you can see the camera zooms close to her face and you can also see some details it added some more details that wasn't available in the initial image but it tried to add some wrinkles and more details to the face so in my opinion this was very very impressive output and if we compare this with the version 1.5 you can see in version 1.5 the character is uh, not swinging the sword we have some kind of movement yes the character looks angry we have some expressions on the face and also some kind of the energy waves on the uh, sword that looks cool but but it didn't follow the prompt as good as the version 1.6 so i tested few more examples in comparison with the version 1.6 and 1.5 and uh, it turned out to be that the version 1.6 is more real and it follows the prompt more accurately and it offers the more dynamic motions rather than the 1.5 so the link will be in the description below go ahead and check this out 
and that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one